if there's one big question that remains widely unanswered, it's this. Do mermaids exist? While some scholars and explorers have journaled various sightings, not to mention numerous historical legends that support the claim, the general perception remains that mermaids are but a myth. Well, not anymore. From sightings in Cebu to those in Minnesota, here are 20 times mermaids have been spotted in real life. Space Mermaid Not all mermaids are cute redheads living colorful lives under the sea. A recent video has surfaced featuring a dark and pale creature with an alien-like form that's making some people rethink what's going on beneath the waves. This intense-looking being has enough human-like facial features to hit the uncanny valley level where it seems like a person that's a bit off. But what sets it apart are the presence of gills coming out of its neck. The creature has a unique combination of attributes, with its skin branded by a smooth, silky texture combined with fish-like scales, giving it a total swamp creature vibe. Could it be related to that one monster from the Black Lagoon? Maybe this is where that story first came from, like a long-lost descendant rediscovered after all this time. But interestingly, despite its humanoid facial features, the species does possess notably webbed hands, defying conventional expectations. If you want to know where it came from, the origin of this alien-like creature unfortunately remains shrouded in mystery leaving observers to contemplate whether it emerged from the depths of the ocean or perhaps arrived from extraterrestrial realms beyond our stars. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. Movies, TV shows, photos, and kitty shows have clearly described what a mermaid looks like. They've humanoid upper bodies and the lower part of their form looks like a fish. Some books say they're pretty enough to charm sailors at sea while other studies call them sea monsters. Whichever one you believe, take a good look at this photo. What do you see? If you thought a mermaid, then you're one of the hundred thousands of people who think so. With the human-like head and the fin at the back, it fits the description of a mermaid. Therefore, this is proof that mermaids do exist. But then again, this is the 21st century, and the role of computers in photo illusions is off the roof. Do you think this is a real photo proving mermaids exist in our world? Or is this just another clever graphic pulled off by a photo editing genius? Share your thoughts in the comments with the hashtag Sweet Topic. An Eastern Sighting Moving on from a terror of the deep, let's come up for some air over in Israel where a spotted mermaid is making a splash. So here's this footage circulating and it's claiming to have uncovered some pretty convincing evidence that mermaids might be realer than the average person expects. It's the kind of stuff that has the internet spouting theories and scratching their heads in wonder. The home-styled video was shot by two tourists doing their touristy thing, filming what initially appeared to be your typical seal hanging out on some rocks. Nothing too crazy there. But that's where the plot thickens. As they zoom in for a closer look, one of them can tell that something isn't quite right. For starters, is that seal the real deal or something else? They then think that maybe it's a woman sunbathing, but that's not exactly an ideal spot to work on your tan. The only other idea that comes to mind is that it's something that lives down below and came up for a bit of fresh air. Mermaids are still so mysterious that it's not really known which sides of the ocean they hang around. Maybe this one was taking a touristy grip too and decided to spend some time on foreign beaches. But if we're going to be serious about getting a shot of a mermaid up close, it'll probably be better to take a gander from their level. So let's dive down into the ocean next. A Superior Submarine Screening Just around a decade ago in 2013, a short video popped up that showed what looked like a fishy human swimming in depths well below where humans should be. While scientists were trying to figure out if it was a new species of aquatic mammals or a real-life mermaid, it did trigger some stories about a similar encounter in the same depths of the Lake Superior from 1782. The whole thing left travelers bewildered, and while locals explained it as the Merman of Lake Superior, Venant Saint-Germain, an adventurer, and his companions were camping on Pie Island, sitting between Canada and Isle Royale. As twilight fell on their small adventure, Something mysterious crept up from the lake, about 75 yards offshore. 
Saint Germain described this strange being as having a humanoid upper body that looked like a child of seven or eight, complete with stunningly bright eyes, fully formed fingers, and a dark complexion. In fact, he was so scared of this mystery-looking child that he pulled out his gun to shoot just in case. But an old local woman intervened, warning him that harming a merman would unleash terrible storms as these aquatic entities were considered gods and goddesses of the lakes. True to her words, furious storms raged for three days, stranding the campers. St. Germain's account became notorious for being so far-fetched and in 1812, he was forced to provide sworn testimony in a Canadian court. He said the woman described them as childlike, sometimes hairy, with a fondness for hiding between water's rocks. Maybe we need another submarine explorer to test if his story checks out. A Fishman from Kenya For centuries, sailors of the high seas have reported mermaid sightings, but without scientific proof, these fishy tales have all been declared as hearsay, folklore, and drunken tall tales. While marine biologists and oceanographers have yet to confirm the existence of merpeople, this bizarre viral clip has the internet captivated and hopeful. In the viral YouTube video, a seemingly still-living mermaid appears to have washed up on the shores of South Africa in April. Just at a glance, viewers can see a half-human, half-fish-like creature lying on the sandy beach while onlookers gather to examine the sea oddity. So, is this thing for real? Or just an elaborate hoax? It's definitely no dummy, seeing as the apparent mermaid appears to be alive with its arms and fins still moving. However, nobody on the beach attempts to move the fantastical creature back into the water. Do merfolk have legal rights? Because these people would be in trouble if it turns out to be a regular dude in need of medical assistance. But unfortunately, the whole thing was never publicly resolved. Viewers of the alleged mermaid video were disappointed to see the clip end with no resolution and no real sources to reach out to. So, is it the real deal or a fishy fake? There's evidence on both sides of the argument, so we'll just leave it up to you to decide. Mer Creature Here's a mermaid you won't be seeing in any kids' movies. In fact, viewers beware, because this one isn't for the faint of heart. Several viral videos from India have come out claiming to show off a mermaid, locally known as Jalpari. Most of their descriptions say that this creature was found on the banks of the Ganga River in Patna, while others insisted it was spotted in the coastal state of Odisha. A Facebook post shared images of the supposed mermaid, stating it weighed over 100 kilograms, with hands and fingers resembling those of a man. The rest of the body, not so much. Another user claimed the creature was found near the home in East Medinapur, West Bengal. So, where did this thing actually come from? While most pictures of mermaids depict a fish-like tail and a human upper half, there are versions that have done the reverse, with a fish head and a human bottom. It's gotten harder to say what's fact and what's fiction on the internet these days, but if you're willing to believe in the unknown, others will surely back it up with claims of their own. Or you could just go check out the movies. Movie Star Mermaid It seems like mermaids have a pretty clear side of the world they like to spend their time on, especially since this next one made an appearance over in Sri Lanka. There's a viral video making the rounds on social media, claiming to show a mermaid sighting on Mangalore Beach, but let's plunge into the real story behind it. The video features a woman with fish scales covering her lower half, and its high quality has gotten the spectators up in arms. The allure of mermaids, those mystical creatures of the sea, have always captured our imagination. So the idea of spotting one up close like this is like a dream come true for most fantasy hunters. But if you fell for this clip before today, we've got a bit of tragic news, especially if you're a true believer of fantastically deep swimmers. It turns out that this video isn't a real mermaid sighting. It's actually a snippet from a film about ocean conservation, produced by a Sri Lanka-based YouTube channel back in June 2021. The woman in the video, though convincingly transformed into a mermaid, is an actress playing a role. That explains why the camera footage was so high quality. The video might have sparked excitement and curiosity, 
but it's not evidence of a real mermaid gracing Mangalore Beach. Instead, it's a creative effort aimed at raising awareness about the importance of preserving our oceans. Hopefully, their message came across. Mermaid in Hyderabad Indonesia is a great place to see a lot of interesting things, and apparently mermaids might fall onto that list. A mysterious video claimed that mermaids were discovered on the banks of the Musi River after a bout of heavy rain soaked the city in a recent storm. If you're not familiar, this river is like the cooler version of the Krishna River. It flows through the Deccan Plateau in India, creating a natural barrier between the ancient part of Hyderabad and the modern areas. It's not exactly a hot spot for attention, although that definitely must have changed once these shots came out to the public. But if that thing is really a mer creature, then it seems like the swamp thing is more realistic than the old cry of the sirens. Who would have guessed that mermen are fully scaled and as casual as koi fish? Well, probably a marine biologist. But they might also be the first to say that it's a totally a hoax. We wouldn't want to spoil the fun though, so we'll leave it up to your imagination as to whether this is what a true mermaid might look like or just another viral video aiming for clout. A high seas mermaid adventure. It's hard not to make a big splash on the beach, but it seems there's been a bit of a buzz down in Veracruz, thanks to an unexpected guest. You see, pictures of what some have been claiming is a lifeless mermaid started to appear on Mexican social media. But hold on to your seashells, because there's more where that came from. Some naysayers have come out to say it was all just a joke, a nasty prank with a rubber prop. That's no way to treat your fishy fans, is it? The story was told that a couple of beachgoers found it, called the cops and suddenly an extraction team showed up. Without a fuss and with no questions asked, this elite team whisked the rubbery mermaid away to parts unknown, and that's what the official story seems to be. Some even suggested these people might have a connection to Area 51 across the border in the US. But no one wants to push that theory to its inevitable conclusion, although the truth might be even stranger if you want to believe it. Someone else has made the more probable claim that the prop is a leftover from the fourth Pirates of the Caribbean movie on Stranger Tides. Looks like it either got lost or was on a quest of its own until it washed ashore to scare some of the locals. So, while it's no real-life mermaid, the mystery of how this movie relic ended up on the beach still lingers leaving some skeptics demanding a closer look. Picture Perfect Mermaid One day, a camera guy happened to be strolling along the beach, minding his own business. Then, boom, he stumbles upon what looks like a knocked-out mermaid. But hold up, things aren't as fishy as they seem. Sure, that mermaidish creature might appear convincing at first glance, even with its weird skeletal complexion and that mannequin-styled stillness. But let's get real. If something kicked the bucket in that position, it'd probably face plant into the sand, not pose like it's a creepy photo shoot. And here's the twist, it's actually legit. Well, sort of. Everything in that frame is a bona fide deceased something or other, but we can rule out a natural born mermaid from any of those parts. It's more of an uncanny sculpture crafted by the talented, or should we say twisted, Juan Cabana. This guy creates his art using actual fish human skeletons, and who knows what else. He's like a modern-day Dr. Frankenstein minus the lightning, pitchfork-wielding mobs, and ominous windmills. Is it ethical? Hey, all we can say is that it sells. Someone actually paid a cool $10,000 for it. But if you're really interested, maybe Juan Cabana can make a repeat display just for the sake of it. The Inner Workings of a Mermaid Back in 2016, there were these pretty bizarre pictures making the rounds on social media. They supposedly showed the decaying remains of what people assumed were a mermaid that washed up on a beach in the UK. They definitely have the it factor, and by that we mean there are seriously scary snapshots. You've got this human-like creature with a fishy tail just chilling on the sand. The midsection? Well, that looks like it's seen better days, but the head and tail are oddly intact. Paul Jones is the guy behind the camera that let these pictures out into the world, and they went viral, hitting Facebook like a storm. Some people who saw them were dead set, pun intended, on this being an actual mermaid. Others, though, were certain it was fake, or probably just a seal that was torn apart and washed up. And you know what? 
The East Coast has its fair share of gray seals, so that's really not too unbelievable considering the circumstances. But it does feel more exciting to think that the mystery is still real enough that the answer could be unknown. Regardless, there's a lot of evidence out there that can go either way, but hopefully this UK creature is less disturbing than the one we're looking at next up from Florida. Fixed up in Florida. All right, hold on to your fins because we've got some messed up clips coming from the American wetlands. The video mentions it's from Gators Pass on Florida's west central coast and you might expect it's full of emotional outbursts and some colorful language to say the least. But the most interesting thing to take away from the whole shoot is that supposedly this mermaid got shipped all the way to Australia for scientific study. Well, while we love to tell you more about the science behind what's going on with the watery discovery, we're sure to say that this tale ends almost the same way as one of our previous ones. As it turns out, this thing is not really a real mermaid. Nope, the mastermind behind this fishy business is the same artist from before, Mr. Juan Cabana. Seems like this guy really is into creating fantastical creatures using the remains of fish and other critters. Sea monsters and mermaids are just his jam. Now, Let's get into some more mer misconceptions. The mermaid's hair looks suspiciously like a wig, all combed and clean. If this thing was floating in the ocean, that's totally not how its hairdo would look. Plus, the body seems oddly well preserved for something that's been swimming with the fishes. You'd expect more decomposition and maybe a fly or two. Oh, and there's a lack of sand on it, even though it's supposedly washed ashore. We'll be honest, it looks like his last work may have been a tad more believable, but we've still got even more worth believing in, so let's see what really did happen in Australia next. Fish or friends? Down in the land down under, the wildlife is practically what the country is known for. It's not hard to believe that with all of these animals running around that there wouldn't be a few mermaid mysteries to find. People have been yakking about these mythical beings for ages and while many have claimed mermaid sightings, few have managed to prove their existence. Some say they're bad news, causing shipwrecks and storms. Others think they're guardian angels of the ocean, saving sailors in distress. Now, let's get scientific for a second. Our planet is basically a water world, with 71% of its surface covered in H2O. We humans are 60% water, and some critters are practically water balloons with legs, so theoretically, mermaids could be a thing, maybe some kind of evolutionary in-between kind of creature. Experts have taken to the sea, or rather, dove under it to see if they can catch some on tape, and this is what they found. Looks pretty real to us. Of course, looks aren't everything and each clip comes with its own set of critics. The US National Ocean Service poured cold water on our mermaid dreams in 2012 stating there's zero evidence they exist. But some still hold out hope, especially with clips like this. The shot came from a man who said he spotted a mermaid off the coast of Queensland in Australia's Great Barrier Reef. So, mermaids, real or just the stuff of salty legends? The debate continues with our next clip, the Cebu Mermaid. Is this evidence of a mermaid or a sea monster? A lot of the creatures we've seen so far have all been called mer creatures of some kind, but it's interesting how few of them look the same. This fellow right here looks to be more fish than folk, but it definitely has that human-looking monster feeling, if you catch our drift. It also sort of looks like what happens if you dried out a fish for a bitter snack later down the line. So, what's it doing over on a grassy floor instead of at the bottom of the ocean? We don't have all those answers. The person who clicked the picture is still trying to figure out what exactly they caught too. Although they're mostly wondering if they've stumbled upon a legit mermaid or just some fish-fangled monster. But one thing's for sure, and it's that they've got a seriously strange critter on their hands. Mallorca mermaid with Spanish style. We're traveling the world for these strange sights and it's brought us to the ocean coast off of Spain. While mermaids or ocean dwellers like these are often dismissed as mere legends, a fisherman from Mallorca, Spain recently captured a sighting that's making waves, so to speak. In this extraordinary footage, the mermaid reclines on a seaside rock, seemingly sunbathing, her graceful tail gently swaying. 
it's almost too good to be true. And plenty of others on the internet felt the same. This extraordinary sighting has ignited a whirlwind of speculation about the existence of these mystical beings. What would a real-life sea princess look like if not for the enchanting creature we see in the video? Could it be that mermaids are more than just the stuff of folklore and fairy tales? These captivating images leave us all wondering about the secrets the depths of the ocean might still hold, and we're getting close to the end of it. Mermaid with a message Mermaid Melissa, often dubbed the real-life mermaid, has shocked people around the globe with her enchanting underwater appearances, captivating millions of viewers on YouTube and gracing live press and television broadcasts. Beyond her mesmerizing aquatic performances, she carries a powerful message. Let's help save the oceans before all creatures become mythical. Not a bad story for someone who's always swimming. Her remarkable journey as a professional mermaid and ocean advocate has been documented in Mermaid Melissa, The True Story, a compelling documentary that delves into her life, her passion for marine conservation, and her mission to raise awareness about the fragile state of our oceans. As a representative of the deep connection between humans and the marine world, Mermaid Melissa serves as a symbol of the enchanting beauty of our oceans and the urgent need to protect them. Through her captivating performances and advocacy work, she encourages others to join the cause and take action to preserve the oceans and the incredible creatures that call them home. While she might be more of a person than a sea creature, she's definitely a friend to all fish in our books. Mermaid Melissa, The True Story offers a glimpse into the life and mission of a modern-day mermaid who seeks to inspire change and ensure that the wonders of the ocean remain a reality rather than a fading dream of myth and legend. A Minnesota Mermaid This next clip takes us back to the United States, this time in Minnesota. Here, you can see what seems to be a green tail in the water. An Australian tourist claims to have filmed it, but we don't know the exact spot. Paranormal enthusiasts are all over the scene, telling everyone to keep an open mind about what's going on. They're wondering why everyone would go through the trouble of faking something like this, and to what extent. Really, that's about as good of an argument as we're gonna get. The video ended up on a YouTube channel called Paranormal Elite, and they're saying the creature in the footage looks like those mythical mermaids we've heard about. Mackie thinks it's legit proof of mermaids. He's even heard tales about fishy-tailed humanoids back in Australia, but he was still surprised to see this coming out of a freshwater lake. Doesn't that break some kind of fish code? The big question remains, do mermaids hang out in Minnesota lakes? Maybe they can when they're out visiting their freshwater cousins. Or maybe they can even walk on land when they decide to put their tails away for a while. So, if you're ever in doubt of mermaids hanging out, maybe consider you're hanging out with them. An arm's reach. Here's the story of some people who had no interest in catching a mermaid. In fact, they were just trying to do their job on the open sea. Until BAM! They pulled up their net and saw an arm. But not just any arm. It was a webbed hand reaching out from the net like it was saying, Howdy there! Now these fishermen aren't used to this kind of surprise, so they handled it as well as you'd expect. That's to say they freaked out a bit and let the net slip right back into the ocean. Talk about a missed opportunity. Did these sailors almost catch themselves a real-life mermaid? Not even they know for sure. But here's the thing. Most scientists aren't buying it. They say it's an unlikely find. About as unlikely as finding a unicorn at a petting zoo. But we want to give at least a bit of benefit of the doubt. There's still crazy theories out there. One called the aquatic ape theory suggesting there might be some human-like relatives who evolved to live underwater. Scientists are quick to deny the theory, seeing as how there's no physical or fossilized proof, but then again, there's a lot we still don't know about the ocean's dark mysteries. Remember the giant squid? People used to think it was a myth too, until we actually found those alive and swimming down in the deep sea. So maybe, just maybe, mermaids are lurking out there as well. After all, history's got its fair share of mermaid sightings, and some of them turned out to be pretty fishy business. The Skeleton Solution If we're getting into the nitty-gritty about whether a mermaid is a real creature, you'd expect there to be at least some bones we could go off of. Would they leave behind people bones or fish bones? A set of photos might be able to answer that question, 
because of what some say looks like a mermaid alien on social media. These strange remains washed ashore an Australian beach and it's got everyone baffled. The pictures come from a marine biology Facebook group and now they're storming the comments online. Bobby Lee Oates, the one who first found this oddity while walking along Kepo Sands Beach in Queensland, described it as having a human-shaped skull with an elongated jawline and some hair that's kind of like a cow or kangaroo. She estimated it to be around six feet long and said it had a tail or limb of some sort. Animal specialists chimed in and one of them from Zoological Society of London thought it might be a small cetacean, which is a type of marine mammal. So maybe the answer is still out there, but we need more experts to rise to the surface before we figure it out. A Jamaican tale. There's some wild footage from Flatbridge in Jamaica that's making a stir in the seafaring community. It was captured on camera, and at first glance, it looks like someone's just having a relaxing swim in the river. But here's where it gets interesting. If you squint really hard, you might just spot what seems to be a fishtail. Now hold on to your captain hats, because this could be some actual documentation of a real-life mermaid, right? Well, don't get too excited, because just like our other bits of evidence, as soon as this mysterious mermaid-like creature realizes it's being watched, it darts away faster than you can say fish out of water. These elusive fish people sure don't like being exposed. So what's the story behind this fishtail? Nobody knows for sure. It could have been a bona fide mermaid taking a dip in the river, or even just a regular person enjoying a swim. If you're down in Jamaica, take a look for us and let everyone know. Race of the Mermaids. So, for our last clip, we'll be looking at a flying drone that flew over the big blue ocean. It's a great view, but suddenly our camera catches something bizarre. We're talking a whole bunch of these weird fish-like creatures cruising through the water, like they've got somewhere important to be. But the people who saw the footage say these fish are kind of freaky. In fact, are they really fish at all? Or a gaggle of mermaids? The drone pilot was definitely curious and moved in for a closer look to see what was really happening. But guess what? These aquatic mystery beings were like, not today, drone. They zipped past the camera faster than you can say sea secrets. And just like our last video, nobody's got a clue about what these creatures really are. Are they some new species? Secret mermaids? Well, that's the million dollar question. And right now, it's got everyone wondering if mermaids are real and whether we'll be able to prove it. Until next time, we'll just need to keep gathering more clips of fish up close to find out.